Rock concerts are notorious for being loud, rowdy, and just plain crazy. It's all in good fun though. The musicians get to go wild on their instruments, and the people in the mosh pit can let out all their animalistic excitement as the amp's booming sound rings in their ears. But some musicians on stage in the past have proven to be even more insane than people in the audience could ever hope to be. To the point where I dare say, if it sounds like something that could never happen, it probably has. Therefore, in this video, we're going to talk about some of the scariest events that took place on a concert stage. Brace yourselves, guys. Disturbing and nauseating content will be discussed. The squeamish and the easily shaken might want to click away from this one. Iggy Pop Ever since Iggy hit it big in the 60s, one thing the Stooge was famous for was his insane live shows. Some may argue, too insane. And it was usually thanks to his brutal and quite controversial antics, ranging from sexually explicit to downright bloody. Easily one of the most painful to watch, I assume, was his live show at Maxis, Kansas City in 1973, where he knocked over a chair, and the chair in turn smashed a table full of various glass, which shattered across the stage. What does our rock star do? Roll around in it, of course. Doing so left him with blood gushing cuts all over his torso and back. And if he felt that wasn't enough, don't worry, he made sure the audience shared in his misfortune as he promptly spurted the blood in his wounds out onto audience members. He was rushed to the emergency room right after with the help of Alice Cooper, and who knows what was on the bloody spectators' minds. Marilyn Manson Obviously, Marilyn is one of the highest controversial figures on the rock scene, so whatever he pulls out onto a live concert, it's going to be something of pure madness. Well, that was the case in a Jacksonville, Florida concert in 1994, as part of the Portrait of an American Family tour, when he took it to an extreme, strapping on a dildo and proceeding to urinate onto the audience. Unsurprisingly, this had legal repercussions, as he was charged for breaking the code of adult entertainment. This was one of many insane antics performed by Manson, and this is in the same league as ironing a Nazi flag on stage, but this one definitely takes the cake for this particular tour. G.G. Allen Many people out there that know of G.G. Allen shouldn't be surprised that he made this list, as he is known for the most disgusting and insane of stunts that he pulled across his short-lived music career. He was famous for pulling all sorts of disgusting feats on stage, involving blood and, most notably of which, shit including one show in particular that took place in 1985, where a small crowd of Gigi fans witnessed the punk rocker taking a dump on just about everything he could find on stage, and even smothering himself in it. The fans that were left in the audience? They barreled out as you'd expect, unable to stand the stench. This wasn't the first time this happened, and it wouldn't be the last, as Feces seemed to be a recurring guest star at his concerts. It's no surprise he suffered many arrests, and after his death, his funeral would be just as disturbing. If you want, you can look up his funeral, only if you have the iron will to do so. Kurt Cobain It seemed even in the beginning of Nirvana's career, Kurt Cobain seemed to have tendencies of going off the rails and having dark and self-harming thoughts. Now, keep in mind this is one of the darker topics on this list, given how Kurt's life ended. I will not exactly be talking about this in a light-hearted manner or will be poking fun of it like the other ones. But in the middle of their Bleach album tour, Nirvana did a live show in Rome. At one point during the performance, the grunge king smashed his guitar on stage in a typical rock star fashion. But then it took a dark twist when he proceeded to stand atop a tall amp and threatened to jump off of it. Realizing this wasn't normal behavior for Kurt and that something was clearly wrong, the musicians encouraged him to step down. Nirvana overall took a small break from touring, since Kurt was clearly under stress. Unfortunately, later on, Kurt would actually succeed in an act of suicide. And yes, I know there's conspiracy around his death, saying it was Courtney Love or another of Kurt's associates. However, that doesn't cover up the fact that Kurt really was depressed, was a heroin addict, tried to attempt suicide in the past, and would probably commit it even if it wasn't Courtney. Until concrete evidence proves otherwise, I will choose to treat it as Kurt not being able to handle the life he was leading anymore, 
and will always remember his impact when he was alive more than anything else. And finally, Ozzy Osbourne. Yes, I know, this was a very predictable choice for this list, and the very fact it's one of the most famous, shocking, onstage moments in rock history makes it too easy to put as number one. As most of you probably know, during a live concert in Des Moines, Iowa, 1981, someone in the audience threw a live bat onto the stage in front of Ozzy. The bat was very much alive, but stunned by the bright lights of the concert. Ozzy, get this, thought the bat was rubber. You probably know where this is going. With Ozzy having a reputation of animal organ throwing and, and fake animal biting, he picks up the bat and bites its head off. I'm sure the taste was horrible enough, since Ozzy realized that it was in fact real, and he of course was rushed to the hospital right after the show to be treated for rabies. Thus, a running joke of the rock star who bites the heads off bats was born. Thank you all for watching this particularly disturbing countdown video. Most of the info I got for this video was found on the Rolling Stone website. If you want to go check out their site, I'll link it down below. If you guys have any other scary, disturbing, or gross things you've either heard musicians did or even witnessed yourself at a concert, please let me know in the comments. I'm genuinely curious. If you'd like, you can subscribe to my channel. I do various things here, ranging from music to creepy vids. You can also follow me on Twitter or Instagram at MasterDK913. Stay your awesome selves always, and I'll see you next time.